Hello, I'm John Thorne from Thorny Motorsport. Another one of our little short technical features about an issues that sometimes we find on McLarens. <clears throat> and this is a bit of an update one regarding the hinges on the Sport Series. Now, as we know, and several videos that we've done, I'll put a link up there somewhere, um, the hinges on Sport Series are prone to cracking. Now, initially, it was covered under McLaren's warranty. Then they decided that the hinge, this one here, was bodywork. So they just stopped paying for it. Then they came back and said, okay, that seems a bit unfair. We'll now make goodwill contributions to them. And now the goodwill contributions seems to be sliding down to not really being worth very much. So we're back doing them again. We haven't done one for several months because McLaren were being goodwill gestures on it and therefore we're doing it for us, save us doing it. <clears throat> so, but we've now back doing it again because the goodwill seems to have lessened off. And it's always bugged me, frankly, as to why they were cracking. And also how big of an issue it was in as much are we talking about doors falling off, which previously we said, no, it should be fine. It's just a crack. Uh, but it always bugged me that, that we were having these issues on, on a fairly robust part. And I wanted to know why. Now, uh, we did one. This is one we did uh, day first day. Uh, Sports Series 2018 plate car, uh, nothing special. Uh, we noted a cracked hinge and we inspected about a year ago. Um, and it got, suddenly got worse to the point in time that the door was now starting to cause some movement. So we replaced the hinge. And interesting what we found. Normally, <coughs> we see the hinge is basically a crack along the edge here. I'll zoom in so you can see it. Uh, but this one actually snapped completely off. Two pieces just came in half. Now, we've never seen one snap in half before, which is why I explain why the door started to drop and it did damage the bodywork. Um, because obviously it moved the hinge down to a point in time where the door was actually contact the rest of it. But this crack is now a snap and the whole item has completely come off, which concerned me a bit. Now, these are cast items. So cast is basically, you know, liquid metal into a mold. Um, and they're normally very solid bits of kit. Okay, cast items are only very strong. You can see the hinge working, it's a pretty strong bit of kit. Um, <clears throat> Cast items are normally pretty strong, but they don't like two things. The cast items don't like impact, they don't like shock to them because they tend to fracture, and they don't like being twisted. Okay, so if this was made out of billet, for example, not only would it be about 10 times the price, but billet would have the ability to have some flex in the metal itself. Um, be it aluminium or steel for that matter. Um, there's some flex. We're talking about tiny microns worth, not talking about flexing like a F1 wing would do. Um, <clears throat> but cast items don't like being flexed. So what we have found on this particular one was that in the fitting of the hinge, when the car was manufactured, they have been using shims, these little thin shims, that sit in between the hinge and the bodywork to space out to get the right positioning on the car. Now this one had three shims fitted, which is quite a lot. And they've literally little tiny thin bits of metal sit inside and they enable you to basically angle the hinge to the bodywork to give a nice flat position to allow the door to be adjusted. The problem that you've got is that with these tiny little shims in place, they're only uh, 0.3 of a mil each um, in between, you no longer have a flat surface. So there's a surface of the hinge, completely flat surface. You now have two little bits this side Therefore, giving the point in time, so this big heavy hinge, this big heavy door, is no longer a flat surface. So you've got a fulcrum point. And what's happening is that fulcrum point, albeit very small, is just enough to cause the metal to start to stress from the flex and then fracture as this one has done. Now, there has been a change of hinge supplier. A new one has now arrived. It seems to have coincided with a doubling of the price. Uh, and we haven't seen any of the new ones crack yet, but I can't tell any difference. So I don't have an awful lot of faith that these things are now perfectly fixed. Um, check the video about how to inspect your car, see if you have hinges done, or have a cracked hinge rather. And the new hinges, again, who knows whether they're gonna crack or not. But if there are shims fitted into it to give the bodywork to fit better, I think it's just a question of when the hinge cracks rather than if. Now we fitted another hinge to this car. We managed to avoid using the shims to make completely flat surface, get a nice perfect fit in the door. Now, it's not hard to make the door fit without using shims, but it's very time consuming. Now give you an example. So it actually took us nearly two and a half hours 
of adjusting and adjusting, adjusting back and forth with the hinge. And that's three people, one to hold the door and two people adjust it to get it so we can avoid using these things, all right? Because we don't want to put shims in doors and door hinge fixings. Now, it doesn't assume that they, they might not have to, because obviously cars are a bit vague. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But I didn't want to fit shims back onto this customer's car, so we took a bit of time and got it perfectly flat and a good fit on the door without using hinges, without using shims. So I thought it was worth an update. We've never seen one snap completely in half before. Um, quite clearly there's an issue. Um, we don't know whether the new hinge they've got is going to make a difference or not. Um, it all, all I can see so far is it's got more up in cost. <laughs> And also McLaren now's goodwill gesture appears to be getting thinner and thinner. So it's back coming to people like me to fix them, or more importantly, people like you to pay for it, which I'll see no one to do. But I thought it was worth our sharing information. Um, certainly when you're looking to buy a sports series, check your hinges. You took them at £3,000 worth of work minimum to replace them both. So that's something to bear in mind when you're buying a car. And if you own a sports series, check the hinges and see if they're cracking or not. Cracking generally won't cause major issues, but now we've seen them start to fracture and now shear off. You are talking about potentially major bodywork damage as the door slips. And every time you slam the door, your door will hit your bodywork. Now, we do a lot of bodywork repairs here. It's a pain in the ass to repair edges of doors and edges of trims. All right, hope that's useful. Talk to you soon. Cheers.